ஓம் நமோ பகவதி வாசுதேவாய ரீடிங் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகத்தும் கேண்டர் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ் சாப்டர் நம்பர் ஒன் டெக்ஸ்ட் நம்பர் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ கசவா குதா அயாதா கஸ்மாத்தேதா கிம் தேவா உபதேவாம் கிம் சித்த சத்தமா ट्रांसलेशन प्रपोर्ट बेस्ड ऑन ग्रेस अबाय चरणार विंद भक्ति विनोद समशिल प्रोपाद की जाए ट्रांसलेशन डियर सर्स हु सर्वेंट्स आर यू वे हैव यू कम फ्रॉम एंड व्हाई आर यू फॉरबिडिंग अस टू टच द बॉडी ऑफ अजाबिला आर यू डेमीगॉड्स फ्रॉम द हेवनली प्लैनेट्स आर यू सब डेमीगॉड्स और आर यू द बेस्ट ऑफ डिवोटीज प्रपोर्ट बेस्ड शिल प्रोपाद द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट वर्ड यूज्ड इन दिस वर्स इज सिद्ध सत्तमा व्हिच मींस द बेस्ट ऑफ द परफेक्ट द भगवदगीता सेवन पॉइंट थ्री इट इज सेट मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशि यथति सिद्ध ये आउट ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ पर्सन वन मे ट्राई टू बिकम सिद्ध पर्फेक्ट और इन अदर वर्ड सेल्फ रियलाइज ए सेल्फ रियलाइज पर्सन नो नोज दट इज नॉट द बॉडी बट ए स्पिरिचुअल सोल अहम ब्रह्मास्मी एट द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट प्रैक्टिकली एवरी वन इज अनवेयर ऑफ दिस फैक्ट बट वन हू अंडरस्टैंड दिस हैज अटेन परफेक्शन एंड इज देर फोर कॉल्ड सिद्ध when one understands that the soul is part and parcel of the supreme soul and one thus engages in the devotional service of the supreme soul one becomes siddha sattama one is then eligible to live in the vaikuntha planets or krishna loka the word siddha sattama therefore refers to a liberated pure devotee since the yamadutas are servants of yamaraj who is also one of the siddha sattamas they know they knew that a siddha sattama is above the dev- demigods and sub demigods and indeed above all the living entities within this material world the yamadutas therefore in- inquired from why the vishnu dutas were present where a sinful man was going to die it should also be noted that ajamila was not yet dead for the yamadutas were trying to snatch the soul from his heart they could not take the soul however and therefore ajamila was not yet dead this will be revealed in later verses Ajamila was simply in an unconscious state when the argument was in progress between the Yamadutas and the Vishnu Dutas. The conclusion of the argument was to be a decision regarding who would claim the soul of Ajamila. That's in the Bhakti Vedanta Purport. Bandhu The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 33, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 1st of June, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Sri Rupam Translation. Dear sirs, whose servants are you? Where have you come from? And why are you forbidding us to touch the body of Ajamil? Are you demigods from the heavenly planets? Are you sub-demigods? Or are you the best of the devotees? Vashyava kutaya yata Asma dasha nishidasa King diva kudiva ya Jiyam king siddha sattama the jamaduta that description of the body already given they are not very good looking so when they saw the vishnu duta the description of the vishnu duta is the next batch they were surprised they were from such nice features of the body, they have been described here, Sarvi Padma Parasaksha, they saw that the eyes were just like petals of the lotus flower, so beautiful. Sarvi Padma Parasaksha, Pito Kausiva Vasa, and all dressed in saffron cloth, yellow. Kirutina with helmets, Kundalina and earrings, Kirutina Rasat Pushpara Marina, 
and we flower garden. Just imagine, if somebody is very good looking with helmet and nice earring bedecked with jewels and the helmet bedecked with jewels and cloth yellow with garland, four hands. Sarvita Nutna Vayasana are all young, not old like me or young like you. Nutna Vayasana, <laughs> just uh, immediately growing young man. Sarvi Nutna Vayasana, Sarvi Chavi Chatudvira and four handed. And uh, here we get two hands. In the way you to plan it, you get four hands. Dhanu nishanga kasi gada sankha chakra ambujasya. And each hand is decorated with bow, arrow, sword, and consel, and this, like that. This is the description of Vaikantha features. So, all is young, there is no old age, disease, or birth and death. Here, in this material, these four things are there. Birth, death, old age, and disease. In the spiritual world, the men are so beautiful, and imagine the woman also still more beautiful, very attractive, but there is no sex. That is the future. You will find it. Why? They are because after all we want pleasure. So in the material world, the topmost pleasure is sex. Uh, because there is no other idea. There are all people, even so-called yogis, samis, and ultimately they are coming down to sex. Whatever they have got as said, the culmination is sex. Uh, old man, he has got money, he has got everything, still he is going to the life class. So here in this material world, Janamai Tunavi Grihamedi Sukham Nitucham. In the material world, Grihamedi, Grihamedi means those who are entrapped within this universe or within this body. Same thing. This is also entrapment. I am within this body. Or in the, any part of the universe, either you go to the moon planet or sun planet or any other planet. You see the sky is just like egg life within that. They are called Baddhaji. Baddhaji means entrapped. So entrapped living entity, they are in different grades of life. Eight million four hundred thousand different forms of life. Now how they are entrapped? The sex. This is their pleasure. And in the spiritual world, there is no sex. So one may question how they are living. Life is finished if there is no rest. So somebody committed suicide who was telling, because doctors asked him not to have any more sex. Who told me the other day? Somebody told me, some big man, he was famous man, so he was forbidden, especially when one is attacked with tuberculosis, the medical man advises, no more sex, and then he will die soon. So this was ordered and he committed suicide. Ernest Hemingway. Huh? Ernest Hemingway. I don't know. Just say it is practical because he thought the life is finished. There is no sex life. So actually, there is a fact here. Yeah. And birth, beast, you will find the pigeons, the dwarf, where they are enjoying sex at least four times in an hour. 
But there are men also like that. So here in this material world, the sex life is the stop place. Janama into Navik Brihamedi Sukham Nikucham. But it is very abound. Just imagine what kind of happiness it is. But we are forced to act like that. Uh, tucham, very insignificant. Janama into Navik Brihamedi Sukham Nikucham. What kind of pleasure? It is just like eating between the two hands. And Tippantani Hakripana Bahudukka Bhaja. The after effects of sex life is very, very bad. So I, in that interview I gave that information that Oh man's freedom. So I gave this reply. So where is woman's freedom? The boy and the girl intermingle and the girl becomes pregnant. The boy goes out without any responsibility and the burden, the child is burdened for the woman. Either she should kill or beg from the government. Is that in independence? They are trying to be independent. This is not civilization. This is a, there is no question of independence. The woman must be given protection in childhood by the father unless he is married and in youthhood by the husband and in old age by grown-up sons. This is Vedic civilization. Nasyam satantatam arati That's like children. They must be always protected. It is not dependent. It is protection. So there should be responsible father, responsible husband, responsible sons to keep women very happy. In India still it is going on. So the point is that here the sex life is the highest pleasure. And in the spiritual world there is no sex. So what is that pleasure? That pleasure is this chanting and dancing. Hare Krishna Mahama. That is stated in this husband. There's so much a joy in this chanting and dancing. They are no more interested in sex. That is only Yes. If you want to stop the pleasure of sex, then if you, you have to take this pleasure, this transcendental pleasure, you forget everything. That is said by Jaunacha. Jadavadhi mamajitta krishna padara vindayo navanabhadhamarantumasi tadavadhi vatanari sangame smadramane bhavati mukha vikara Sushtu Nishthivant. Yamunacharya, he was a very big king. So he had very good opportunity for sex life as king. But later on he became perfect Vaishnava, devotee. So after he became devotee, he was expressing his experience that since I have taken to Krishna consciousness, and I am enjoying the ecstatic love for Krishna. Whenever I think of sex with women, I spite him. This is it. Bhakti Parishanu Bhava Virakti Anatasa. So if we want to be free from the entanglement of this world, we should practice. That practice simply, artificial practice will not help. Unless we advance in Krishna consciousness, unless we become accustomed to enjoy this ecstasy of chanting and dancing, it is not possible. So they were surprised where from this beautiful, they have never experienced because this Yamadutta, they generally just like police. Police go to the thieves, rogues, and criminals 
supreme personality of God. That is the defect. So now you have got material experience. You describe simply about the supreme personality of God, Krishna. So therefore, he wrote this Simad Bhagavatam, eighteen thousand verses. So each verse. We are reading, suppose one verse daily or two verses daily. So 18,000 verses, how long it will take? At least 9,000 days? 9,000 days? How many years? Seven years. Huh? Seven years? Seven years? 9,000 verses. Anyway, so we have got enough straw. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, at least whatever we have published, one thousand days, how many years? Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Between twenty five and thirty years. Yeah, not seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so if we regularly read two verses, that will be also not possible. Anyway, we can read, not once reading. We can understand. He repeated puna puna we shall have to that. Then the stock which we have already got, you can study and take lessons from the Vedic literature and make your life perfect. What kind of residential quarters are there throughout the whole universe? How many universes are there? What is the special features of different residents? It, but don't take this nonsense and instruction that except on this planet there is no life, other planet. This is simply nonsense. Every planet is congested with living. This is the description in the Sāsa. Janākīrna. Janākīrna means congested with living, but different types. Just like they have come from Vaikuntha, their bodily feature is different. We have got experience here on this planet. In some portion they are black people, some portion they are white people, some portion they are yellow people, colors, so many colors, manifestation within this planet. So just imagine how many, this is God's planet, creation, different varieties. Just like you see on this planet, why on this planet, even on this Hawaii island, how many beautiful things, flowers, trees, and fruits, and that is God's creation. Ananda, variety is mother of enjoyment. If you want enjoyment, there must be variety. Impartial and without variety, zero, these are not enjoyment. These are less than that. The void is make everything zero. Why zero? There must be varieties. Variety is the mother of enjoyment. So Krishna, the Supreme Person, we are also, because we are part and parcel of Krishna, we have got the same quality. So to see Krishna is enjoyed with the gopis, with the coward boys, friends, in Vrindavan, in the forest, with cows, with calves. This is enjoyment. Variety. If zero is enjoyment, no, zero is not enjoyment. Ānandamāya Vyāsā, this is the Vedānta Sutra, that the absolute truth personality of Godhead is simply enjoying. Everything enjoying. You'll find Krishna always, wherever he is. He is playing on fruit with company, as a gopi, a coward boy, or somebody, somebody. This is enjoyment. And he comes personally on this planet to show his enjoyment life. And Vrindavan, that place is Vrindavan. Therefore Vrindavan is so important. To invite us that why you are rotting here, come with me and join with my dance. Similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also, you see, dancing here. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Radha, 
all dancing, Sama Panga Sapasana. So the life is this enjoyment, dancing, that is life. And not meditation. For fifteen minutes meditation I become God. <laughs> These are all aspects. Enjoyment is real life. Enjoyment. That enjoyment is not this material or the sex. No. Above this. Transcendent. That we find in farmers and in Krishna consciousness. So I am very glad that you have all taken continue this Krishna consciousness. Read books, chant, dance, eat nicely and be happy. Thank you very much. Yeah.